Who is this ghastly man? Your one and only favorite Muppet. <laughs> What's happening, Boomerites? It's good to see you. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I just did a reaction to uh, Brit's favorite American words or phrases. There were some phrases in there. And uh, this was immediately put in my recommended feed, which is a follow-up to that one. It's American's favorite British word. So the, the script has been flipped, as some Muppets say. You guys already know what my favorite word is. It's, of course, it's Muppet. It's it's definitely the dominant word on the channel. You call me a Muppet. I call myself a Muppet. I call you a Muppet. It's a term of endearment. We all know that. For those of you who followed the channel for some time, uh, this is brought to you by U.S. Embassy London. I don't think I put the link for that channel in the description below, but I will this time if you guys want to check it out. But Americans' favorite British words. If nobody says Muppet, I'm going to be... Pretty disappointed in my fellow Americans, I must say. Uh, wanker is also classic British word. I'm very fond of that one, too. There's also the one that's not to be named, the C word, which I use on a regular basis, and I did before I started this channel. Uh, is there any other one? I, you know what I'm really fond of lately is uh, plonker, even though I'm saying it with an American accent. It's... I think it's because uh, on Patreon I've been watching Only Fools and Horses for about a year now. And every time Del Boy says, you plonka, uh, I just get a kick out of it. So I think that's that one's climbing in the ranks for me. So those are some of my favorites. But let's see what uh, some other Americans' favorite British words are. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's see if, if I really hope Muppet's in there. I'm praying that Muppet's in there. So here we go. And of course, the wonderful Oscar Wilde quote. To start Two words off. I'm going to bring back from UK, this amazing country, back to my country are number one, gutted. Number two, sorted. All right, so my, my first word is rubbish. It's just the, the word that people use here for trash. I find it to be a funny word. The other one is fancy. Uh, not in the way of wearing a, a fancy suit or a fancy dress, but signifying that you like something or someone. So it, it's often used as, oh, do you fancy him or do you fancy her? Cheeky. You're a star. Fancy is, is, is a good one. I, 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 I don't use it, but I like it a lot, I must say. I, I find... Like if you fancy this, uh, or you fancy that person, I've. I think when I first started hearing that years ago, I was I was. Kind of like that's a bit weird, but now it's it's grown on me. I like it. I don't use it yet though, but I do like it. Dress, but signifying that you like something or someone, so it, it's often used as, oh, do you fancy him or do you fancy her? Cheeky, you're a star. Yeah, it, it still is safe. Very safe. 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 It's very safe. All right, so the first one I want to say is the word quite. It has a different meaning over here. Uh, the reason being, a friend of mine called the girl quite attractive, and quite over here means room for improvement. She didn't take that too kindly, so that was a funny moment. Not really? Is that true? A quite? Th that means there's room for improvement? I've never caught on to that. That's different. Let me know if that's true, because, you know... I'm trying to think of Amer uh, uh, here in the states when we use quite like that's quite absurd uh quite frankly and then they tell you a story um that's quite good you know i don't know that's a th that one puzzles me a little bit not enough room to swing a cat. Okay. Which I just think is such a lovely and very obscure quote. Alright, my two words are sorry, because I catch myself saying that even when people are bumping into me, and bin, because I, for the longest time, never figured out where the trash can was, because I kept asking for the trash and stuff. Sorry is, is, because a lot of, we say sorry. When we apologize. But there's also sorry, which means... Um, I'm trying to think of a way to do it without... 
replacing slang with slang because sorry can be slang for um like bad uh terrible um what i was gonna say sorry means like you're trash like uh <laughs> like i i i usually use sorry when i'm referring to sports teams that are that, that are not good like all the Look at the look at the sorry ass Dallas Cowboys. Sorry ass is what I use. Look at it like if and I see, you know, a Muppet on the street who's, you know, doing something ridic ridiculous. Look at this sorry ass Muppet. You know, that's how I use sorry. And a lot of there's several people here in the States that use it that way too. It's kind of like derogatory in, in a way. Um, but the, but then the main way is to apologize, but sorry can be used in a, a very negative term here in the States. So one word at least, uh, faff. So faffing about whatever else that has entered faffing. my vernacular in a, in a, uh, problematic way, probably. Cheers and sorry. Gin lorry and pudding. Yeah. Cheeky, bro. Two words I am bringing from the UK back to the US, takeaway and brilliant. I'm going to take back two phrases from the UK, to the US. So one is when everything goes all pear-shaped, and the other one is to know which side your toast is buttered on. So two... I've never heard either one of those. I've never heard either one of those. Wait a minute, hold on, i got to go back. Cheeky, bro. Two words I am bringing from the UK back to the US. Takeaway and brilliant. I use brilliant a lot. If I see something that is brilliant, I say brilliant. And if I see something that is just completely stupid, I say I say brilliant as well. Like brilliant. Like the way Ricky Gervais does. I think he's had... He was the major influence on me in using that. As, as Gordon Ramsay was the major influence for me using the word Muppet. I'm going to take back two phrases from the UK to the US. So one is when everything goes all pear-shaped, and the other one is to know which side your toast is buttered on. So two British phrases that I'm going to bring back to the United States with me are the phrase, well, the first phrase is like, that's me sorted. So I use it every day after I'm done with work and I've cleared all my emails. I'm like, that's me sorted. Very good. Also the Cornish phrase, like, I'll do it directly. So, you know, when my partner asks me to do something around the flat, I always tell him, I'll do it directly. I'll get to it. <laughs> Very good. I think I'm definitely going to bring back the word proper. Yeah, me too. I That's use what that I said. Yes. on a daily basis. Proper. Yeah. I use that sometimes. Now, so that will have to become part of my U.S. vocabulary once I return. Okay. Nobody used Muppet. It's the best word. Isn't it? Am I wrong? Muppet is the best word in the English language. And it's used on the other side of the Atlantic constantly, and I love it. We need to, we need to use that word here. I've used that word off camera, like, in front of people. And they're, like, shocked. They're, like, they're like laugh. They're, like, humored by it and confused. They're, like, they're, like, laughing. They're, like, did you just call that guy a Muppet? You know? Um, I love using that word, but I'm shocked it's not in there. It's the great, it's the best word, but anyway, there was, yeah, there's some of the ones in there. I find myself using now. I use brilliant a lot. Um, but that one girl with the two phrases, like everything's gone pear shaped or, and then butter both sides of the toast. I think she said, I could, I, I'm probably mucking that up, but. I've never heard either one of those. Or at least I don't remember hearing them. You know what I remember? It's from Peep Show. Butter the toast, eat the toast, shit the toast. That was I did, That's probably not a common saying, but I, I love that one from Peep Show. That one made me chuckle a lot. But anyway, what, are your, uh, what do you think is the best British word or phrase? It's got to be... Well, the word's got to be Muppet, but British phrase... I've seen uh, That's Me Sorted a lot in comments, especially when I upload a particular reaction that people have been uh, wanting to see. I see that a lot in comments. So that's a very common one that I see you guys put down. But let me know what your favorite phrase is. I'd be interested to read. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And that's me sorted for the day.
All right. Take care, Boomerites. I'll see you next time.